Hello everyone, GM Justin is back here on the Boston Bruins GM Mode series. Uh, we are in 2022, um, which would make this season six. And once again, we were trying to tank and we're in a playoff spot. And I know people are going to say, if you're in a playoff spot, you should try to win. But guess what? We aren't going to win with this team. That's not an option. We have to miss the playoffs, okay? I mean, look at this. This team is not going to win. It just isn't. I mean, no offense to this team, but it's not going to win. So, which means we're at the trade deadline. We're going to have to haul out some pieces. Um, the good news is there's... The good news is Montreal is right behind us. They could pass us up easily if we do bad. Let's just check out the Eastern Conference real quick. So the good news is for the wild card spot, we have one, two. These three teams can easily pass us up, essentially. Which is good news for us. So, I'm not going to do no, nothing too fancy with these trades. We don't have anyone big we want to trade away. So, we're not going to get a first-round draft pick. Just some low-level prospects, probably. And we have a lot to do in this episode. I don't want to make it 45 minutes like the last one. So, I'll just pretty much show you the trades right before I... Uh, right before I propose them, essentially. So, I'll be... Okay, guys, the first one to go is Kuklachev. Uh, um, like I said, low-level prospects. I know it's a top 6 forward, you're thinking. That's not that low level. But he's already 20, and he's only 68 years old. A power forward. He might not turn into anything, but there is a slight... It's a low risk, and a decent reward could happen from it. So we're going to just give it a try. We're going to try to get the fourth. It might not go through. It does. I'll be back. With the next, the next person to go is defenseman Joe Morrow. Uh, he's 29. He's not part of our long-term future. He's been a, a decent player for us over the years. Um, but it's just time to move on from him. Once again, we have a a project type player who could turn into something, could not. Very low trade value. It's worth a shot taking him, right? You just never know. And they accept it. I'll be back with our our last trade. Robin Lehner going to Edmonton. We'll get a second in this guy. He's not very good. We'll hit okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to do the roster moves and the line changes and everything. And I'll be right back with Okay, guys, let me explain to you my lines here. Are hopefully lines that will cause us to fall out of the playoffs, hopefully. But that we haven't had good luck with tanking at all in this series. Um, so essentially, I called up Lacerte. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it looks like La Lacerte, maybe. I don't know. I called him up. He's an 83. He's ready for the NHL. He's a third liner. We'll put him with Valiardi. Hopefully, these two can tear it up. Valiardi already having a decent year. I'm hoping he can go to 85, 86. I know he's 22, but whatever. So, Geet hasn't grown at all this year, but he's had 60 points. That leads me to believe maybe putting him on the second line because he's a second line forward will help. So, I put the Brusk and Gergensen. I put these three bums up here on the first line. Uh, and then the fourth line. There's our defensive pairings. I'm hoping Bennington can get to 86 or something. But that's pretty much that. Uh, our special teams, Valiardi, Geet, Lacerte, Lacerte, whatever his name is, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll look it up, I don't know. So here's our team, guys. Let's just check out this AHL squad. Sure. And let's hope we lose. And let's hope that San Jose has a second half collapse as well. I would like to get two chances at the lottery. Um, 
maybe we can get two picks in the top three. I actually do want to real quick see what our scouting is like. The problem with this is, yes, I realize we're 89 offense. Our offense has gotten better since the start of the video because of Lacerte, but I want him to get some reps in the NHL. The problem is between, once I leave a video and don't record for a few days, I kind of forget where I've planned on scouting. Exact elite and high. Okay. I want to do defensemen too. Preferably, I'd like to draft a top 10 pick for a defenseman and a top 10 pick for a forward. Hopefully, one of them's in the top five. Um, so this guy's not fully scouted, even though he's got him six times, the WHL. Any low bottom six guys? Yeah, I do remember this guy, but he's like a... Th oh, he's actually... I thought it was a third round pick. If I, I guess I'm not remembering correctly, the QMJHL. Okay, I want to start scouting some defensemen. We already know this guy's available here. Bryce Gionta. Okay. So when they ask for us to scout, I want to start doing some defensemen. Um, I want to uncover more about that the other two forwards as well, but just to get some defensive scouting, we want to do that. Make sure we get some in. So let's just hope we can lose. Probably not. I have bad luck when it comes to this stuff. Provenance, best lines. I wanted to do the draft in this episode, but I'm not sure I'm going to because I kind of want to get you guys' opinion on that kind of thing. And we freaking win two games. Oh, my God. This is why I hate this game with a passion. I mean, can I put much of a worse team out there, honestly? Like, realistically. Magnus freaking Helbert. Not even... I want to. I want this video to go smooth. And not be super long and do three games in. <sighs> three games in, and this happens. I want to actually, that's one thing I forgot about. We got to make sure this guy's getting reps. How many games? Seven and four, not bad. Next year, he's going to be the starter in the AHL. And then the year after that, hopefully he's NHL ready, whether that's backup or starter. Oh, my gosh. Quit winning games. Like, what can I do to make this team lose is what I'm trying to figure out. Our first line is awful. There's a loss. Lose against both of these teams. Come on. Loss, please. Oh my freaking gosh. Is this game like tank proof? I see other people tank and I just wonder how. There we go. We're finally freaking losing some games. We have freaking 39 wins. Holy crap. We're going to have to really do bad to not make the playoffs. I was hoping for a bottom five finish. Stop winning! If I make the playoffs, I'm going to find it really hard to root on my team because they're just so bad and don't stand a chance. So can we miss the playoffs? If we want to, Can we be one of them teams that has like 43 wins but still misses the playoffs, please? Come on. Please tell me Ottawa is better than us. Yes, they are. Thank goodness. Yes, we lost. Please tell me Buffalo is better than us. I didn't get to see, but please tell me. We, oh, my God. We freaking won. Lose these next three games, please. Yes. Boston's not as good as, as us as or we are. What did I? I just said Boston's not as good as us when I mean, we're Boston. Oh my! Why do we? Mm, all you had to do was freaking lose. 
Yes. Oh, I think we missed him. Oh, thank goodness we're in a good division. Yes. At least we got all oh, the Sharks made it. Well, if you want a top five pick, we're going to have to trade up again. Jeez. Because tanking is pretty much impossible in this game. Glad to know that. And yeah, my batteries are low. Fantastic. <sighs> Let's do a little bit of a recap. The good news is Geet had a heck of a year. He's up... Oh, he's how is he down to eighty six? For failing to make the playoffs, look at all these up arrows, and now he's down to eighty six to miss the playoffs. Oh my! Give me a break. Valley already not a strong finish. Calm Tois looking like he's the biggest bust ever. This guy, 11 and 20. Not awful. Would I liked a little bit more out of him. But he's up to an 85, so I'm fine. Uh, defensemen's. All these 80 freaking fours. Let's check out the AHL, how they did. Any potential players that actually did anything. This guy right here. Oh, he's 23. Here's where our prospects are, Olsen. Defensively, not sure we even have any good defensive prospects. A few top six folks right here. Goaltenders. Nine, nine, and two. Interesting. All right, let's check out the entire NHL. Just for the heck of it. We'll do retired players and trophies and everything. Then we'll talk about the draft and whatnot afterwards. So Kane, Tavares, Giroux, Eichel. No one seems to get 80 points anymore besides like three people every year, four people this year. Defensively, Ristolainen was a point per game. Here's a new name we're starting to see. Bat a top six dude had 63 points. But for the most part, we're not seeing many new names yet. And we're six years in. That's a little bit of a concern. I wanted, I made some pretty good prospects. Nylander, but he's already, you know, doing stuff in the NHL this year. Geet was new ski. This is the new guy, 20 years old. When was he drafted? 10th overall. Besides these guys, there's not any, like, new guys coming through. Like, where are all the freaking people? There's too many busts. Freaking Cindy Crosby getting 60 points at 92 overall. This game is such a joke. Okay, I'm not going to keep... Ah, Stransky, we found someone. There is just no new guys. Uh, goalies. Let's check it out, I guess. I don't care about points. Do you go with 40 and 15 or 45 at 19? You got to give it to Freddie Anderson with that 2.25. Killer year for Frederick Anderson. He's on a massive contract. Holy crap. And then rookie skaters, just for the fun of it. Ballard is going to win it. Spring some bring us. 
pretty weak rookie core. Oh, well, not really, but none of these guys are uber prospects. They're all top six. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, now we just got to sim up to the draft. Let's actually take a look at this right now. It's We're, we're rooting uh, for San Jose to get eliminated quickly. That would put more trade value to that pick. If we only get one pick, if we have to trade both our picks for a top five pick, I'm fine with that. I said I wanted two, but if we get one top five pick, I'm happy. Let's be honest, we should have been a lot worse than what we actually are. Not my fault, I have to keep trading up into the top five. The game is just screwing me over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we would get the thirteenth selection. Um There's only one playoff team ahead of us, so the worst we can get is the fourteenth pick. That is the worst we can get, and that's uh, if Carolina wins one of the lottery selections. Okay. I'm really rooting for a lottery victory here, guys. I don't want to send the draft. I want to see how uh, San Jose does. Hopefully pretty awful. Yes, they're down 2 nothing. The better their pick is, well, it's good news if their pick is bad. Yes, beat them in four games. Ha <laughs> ha, screw you, San Jose. Still not going to be a very great pick, but we'll send to the draft here, guys. Edit scouting assignment. Got some more defensemen. You know what? Now we're going back to forwards. I'm thinking we're only going to get one first round pick this year. So let's make it count with a forward we know is going to be a star. Helberg. The plan next year is. The plan never goes as planned for me, but the plan next year is to miss the playoffs, but not tank necessarily, because we want some of our guys to grow, have good years. So to be in about the range we are right now, where we miss the playoffs, but not by a heck of a lot, we'll probably make it just because this game likes to make me do better than I want to, or than I should even. I hate how when you're simming like this, it doesn't update the playoff thing right down there. Uh, Providence is still in the playoffs, which is good, I guess. So the Vancouver Canucks win the playoffs and the San Diego goals. I really need to go back and write down who's won the cup so I can be like, oh yeah, they won that three times already. Or they, I think Vancouver might have won it already. Not sure. I want to. I'm gonna go back and I, and write that down. I think just so I can kind of know what I'm talking about, see what teams have been on a tear and whatnot. So we didn't win. We're at pick number. Okay, we're better than I th or no. Why was I thinking I was New Jersey? Uh, I might be a pro. I'm on New Jersey. Um, so we are the 13th pick. Nashville has two picks in the top three. They better be willing to trade one of them. That's, or Edmonton. I guess if I was Nashville, I'd take both of them picks. But maybe Edmonton, Florida, Minnesota, someone. If we're going to do a successful rebuild, we have to trade up. Okay, I know it's not fully realistic, but if we take a real realistic approach to this GM mode, rebuilding is almost impossible. It's not easy. 
you know, because you draft players in this game and their potential, that's what you get. In real life, you can have an undrafted player become really good, a six-round guy become a star. That doesn't happen in this game, which I think is just not very good. You can argue that I think there should be elite guys drafting in other rounds in the first one that aren't low elite. I mean, that happens. It's, you know, if you go back and historically and look, and it, a lot of times the top 10 guys, half of them at least, don't turn out to be good players. I mean, in this game, it's the top 10 guys or top 5 guys for elite players, and then the rest of them are worse. You know, it's just not as realistic as who it is in real life. Um, but... So we got to do some stuff that you wouldn't necessarily see in real life. It's not like we're trading up to the first overall pick every year and then trading for Connor McDavid. I mean, we're t so Luke Glendening will call it a career at age 33. He is tired of suiting up and going out there. He's just going to say, you know what, that's it for me. Let's check the entire league, see who the big guns are that are going to be leaving the NHL this year. Ryan Getzloff is the big gun. He is now 84 overall. Fifty points. In real life, they probably won't retire after this. That's what I hate about this game. Once again, I can see Getzloff playing to he's 40. Maybe not 40, but 38 at least. 30. Well, I guess it's a little bit realistic. 37, but some guys retire at 35, and it's like, what in the world? So Parise... Carter, Brent Burns, Latang, Seabrook. Seabrook played a while. 37, yeah. I just want to see if any of these guys are like 39 or 40. Goaltenders. Any big guns? Any big guns here in the goaltender retirement home? Okay, Mark andre Fleury will call it quit at age 37. Goalies, they can play up to their, look at Luongo, but eight wins shy of 500. Why wouldn't you just stay and try to get them eight wins, man? If this, yeah, yeah. He really hasn't been playing in the NHL at all. I don't know if he's been in AHL or if he's been like a third goalie, but they're back. Like, look at this. Wow, he would be well past. Oh, that's play why is it playoff stats? Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Ten and nine, yeah. Twenty. His career is pretty much over. Makes sense. A lock bishop, you know them guys. Okay. So let's take a look at the scouted players, see what, where we want to trade, where we should trade up. I'm really thinking forward. Another top two defenseman would be great. But we we could really use a winger for uh, Geet and the other dude. Geet and La, La Certe. If we get that first line down, we can probably find a top two defenseman in free agency eventually. I see him every now and again. There's the Cam Fowlers, the Justin Falks. But when we look at, let's just really quick look at the future of this team here. These guys, not a, much of a future with us, to be honest. Uh, these guys might. Bennington will, but... Let's look at forwards real quick. So realistically for our future. None of these guys have like a definite future with us. The best chance is DeBrus could stay on a team, but he's down to 84. I just don't know about him. You can pretty much cross Comtois out of there. So then you're looking at these two who don't have a winger. We have some top six guys. No guarantee on any of them. Okay, but if you go to defense, we have our elite guy. We have some top sixes. We have some top fours on the roster now who aren't old. 
I just think maybe they get that third four. That's what we were missing in our first attempt to rebuild was another first liner. You know, Spooner wasn't getting it done, essentially. We, we've proven we don't need a very good defense to win. Quite honestly, we've proven that this year. If we, So, if you guys think we should go defense, we can. This isn't my, strictly mine. Oh, we can't see the... Why can't we just see the scouted freaking players? Oh, you gotta love this game. Let me know, guys. Offense or defense? Oh, my gosh. I hate this game so much. So many bull guards problems. Guess what? If I was a GM and it was the day before the draft, I'd be able to see who's in the draft. Something else they should add. Their statistics. Their player statistics of the players. That's something they should add. But guess what? This game's going to suck because people buy it and... People are buying it, and why well, improve it if people are buying it? Now, I know I'm guilty of buying it, obviously. But they're just going to keep pumping out these crappy games. Yeah, I give this game a lot of... I'm hard on this game. I give it a lot of crap, you know. It's not... Don't get me wrong, I like the game. As much as it sounds like it don't, there's just so much stuff that could be better. And if they just listen to us, then it would be so much better. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy playing it, you know, they, it's decent, but it just could be better. I'll see you guys in the next episode, I hope you enjoyed, please subscribe so you don't miss the next episode, goodbye.